Hello everyone and welcome back to Class Points EdTech Tips and Tricks. Today I have a couple of engaging, interactive PowerPoint games that you can use in your classroom to make any presentation fun and memorable. We've got all the games, Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy, Family Feud, Memory, Scoreboard, and an interactive quiz of course, and so much more. Let me run you through how to use these templates and how you can get access to them for free. This template has a lot of use cases, however right now it's set up as a Mandela Effect quiz. That way you can test your audience on which is the correct logo or image or saying. However, you can also use this as would you rather for true false questions or this or that, as long as there is two different options for your audience to choose from. So to edit this template, you can edit the images or you can type out your very own question. Once all of the editing is done, don't forget to also update your ClassPoint interactive quiz button. So this quiz button makes it so that when you're in your presentation, you can receive live responses from your audience in class. So for this question, since it is would you rather, there is no correct answer, so I can just make sure I edit that there. Then when it is time for your presentation, when you're during your presentation, you can invite your audience to join your class by going to classpoint.app, typing in the class code they see in the top corner of your presentation and their name. Then they'll be able to go ahead and submit their responses and you'll be able to see them instantly on your screen. For more information on ClassPoint's different interactive quiz questions, take a look down below. This trivia quiz template is perfect for your next PowerPoint game night, or you can use it as a review session with your students in class. With the addition of the interactive quiz buttons with ClassPoint, you can receive live responses from your students and automatically award them stars. That way you can keep track of their rankings on the leaderboard. So we have the template already here for you with a few instructions on how to get started and have your students join into your class. But otherwise you just need to edit the questions and the answers as you see fit and edit the ClassPoint interactive quiz button. So you'll notice that this quiz button is activated for quiz mode. That means that the number of stars that you put here easy, intermediate, or difficult is the number of stars students will get awarded automatically if they get that question correct. That way you can be hands-free and just take a look at the scoreboard based on their results. So based on the question you put on your slide, you can edit the level of difficulty and the correct answer choices as well. If you don't have any questions in mind, but want to get some ideas, you can have ClassPoint AI generate questions for you. Based on any of the slides in your PowerPoint presentation, ClassPoint AI will analyze that information and generate a question. So for example, I have this slide here with just the simple word geography. If I go into my PowerPoint presentation mode, I can click on the AI button on the toolbar and have AI generate a question for me. It will analyze that slide and give us a question. If we like it, we can go ahead, save it as a slide in our presentation. It will automatically add that interactive quiz button on there, but you'll notice that it's just a plain multiple choice. So I can just simply click on it, activate the quiz mode and select the number of stars and that difficulty level there. Then you can just go ahead and copy and paste all of this information into one of the slides for the template. So when you're ready to begin interacting with your audience, you can enter your PowerPoint presentation mode. Once your audience is joined in, you can run the questions and you'll be able to see their responses live in class. Once the question has been completed and closed, you'll see that students will automatically receive those stars. You can check out how they're doing on the quiz summary or see their rankings on the scoreboard. Set up and run a family feud game right inside of your PowerPoint presentation with this template. So in this template, we have instructions on how to use it, but I'm gonna walk you through it as well. So first you can go ahead and add all of the names of both groups that will be playing. In addition, I would recommend creating a class for these two groups. So you can create one class here and we will call it Family Feud. Then go ahead and you can click next and add in all of the participant names. Once all of the names are added, you can click finish and then we can separate them into their groups. So here at the top, we have the grouping feature. We can add a new group, give it a color and a name, and then you can choose those who are in that group and do the same for your second group. This way, any points that are awarded will go to their groups and you can easily track who is winning. 
Once that's set up, then we can move on to adding our questions into our deck. So we have a spot here for you to add in your question. You can add in the two names of who it is up against. Then behind these squares, you will see the option to add in those answers and how many points it's worth. So you can just edit those PowerPoint text boxes. Then when you go into your PowerPoint presentation mode to play this game with your audience, they can first join in your class. That way they'll be able to submit the responses when it's their turn. We have a word cloud question type set up on these slides or fill in the blanks. That way your audience has freedom to respond in however they would like. Then when it is time to reveal the answers of your question, you can click on the class point draggable objects icon and move these squares to reveal the answers. When you're ready to award points to your participants, you can enter your class and award the stars to the participant that they belong to. To check in on the rankings and the scoreboard and how everyone is doing, you can click on that leaderboard icon and then also show the group rank to see which group is winning. For more information on using this Family Feud template, you can take a look at the link down below. Play full on Wheel of Fortune inside PowerPoint with the help of some of ClassPoint's tools. Of course, we have all of the instructions listed here in this template. However, let me break it down for you on how to play at least that main round. So the first things first is we need to create our spinning wheel of all of those prizes. So to do that, we do have a CSV file that you guys can download from this template. Then once it's downloaded, we'll go into my classes and we'll wanna create a new class for Wheel of Fortune. Then you can give it a unique class code, click next, and we'll import our CSV file from we, that we just downloaded. You'll be able to see all the prizes listed. We can click finish and move on to our next step. So next we actually need to create our puzzle. So here you'll see that there are green and white squares. So in the green squares, you can begin adding one letter per square to fill in your answers. Then you can cover it with one of the white squares. That way it is hidden. And once they are all done, we want to be able to make sure that they're draggable during our presentation. That way you can remove the squares to reveal the letters behind. So to do that, you can click on the square that you have in more features, click on draggable objects and make sure that that square is drag enabled. Then all the main setup is complete. So when we go into our presentation mode, we first want to change that class code. That way we can get access to that spinning wheel of names. So you can click on the class code up in the corner and then we'll want to change the class to the Wheel of Fortune. We can start that and we will want to go down to the name picker here and have our first contestant spin the wheel. Awesome. So then we can write down which prize that they have. That way we can keep track. So we can use class points annotation tools for that. Then if they have guessed the consonant that is in your answer, we can reveal that square. So to do that, we'll click on the class points draggable objects icon on the toolbar. And depending on which letter they guessed, you can go ahead and reveal that letter. Now you can continue on with the rest of their turn as Wheel of Fortune goes and then move on in between your different contestants. For more information on how to play Wheel of Fortune and use this template, check out the downloadable template that's linked below. With this memory game template, you can drag and drop cards to reveal what is behind each card and find their matching pairs. To access this cool drag and drop feature during your PowerPoint presentation, you can download the free PowerPoint add-in ClassPoint. So ClassPoint integrates right into your PowerPoint presentation to make your presentations a little bit more interactive and engaging with your audience. Once you have ClassPoint installed and your template downloaded, you can begin editing the template to put your own images or icons behind each one of these cards to fit your very own presentation. Then when you go into your PowerPoint presentation mode, you can click on the class point draggable objects icon as these are all already set up for you and you can start moving these around to reveal what's behind and find those matching pairs. To find out more information on how to set up the draggable objects for yourself, you can take a look at the video that's linked down below.
a classic game made better by getting those live responses and keeping track of your students' scores right inside PowerPoint. With this template, everything is already all hyperlinked and hooked up together so that when you are in your presentation mode, an audience member chooses one of these categories. Let's say, for example, they choose 200 in category three. We can click on the 200. It will automatically link us to that question slide. Then we can have them submit their answers via the class points short answer question. And once it's completed and you want to reveal the answer, you can go back to your game board by clicking on that game board icon. Then we can reveal the answers with class points draggable objects. So once we click the draggable objects icon on the toolbar, we can go to category three and just move that square to reveal the answer. To then edit this template and make it your own for your own Jeopardy game, it's pretty simple. You can add in your answers to each one of the categories behind each one of these question boxes. Then make sure that you go to each slide and adjust your question. From there, everything else is already done for you. It's all hyperlinked, so you just need to add in those questions and the answers and you're all set. Well, this last one isn't necessarily a template. However, it is a really fun game to play and super easy to set up. And it is how to run and put together a puzzle in your PowerPoint presentation. So with the help of class points draggable objects, we can move around these squares right during our class point presentation to put our puzzle back together. So to create this, you can use any image that you would like. For example, we'll go back to this one and in our insert tab, we'll want to click on shapes. We can insert a square right over top of this image and then we'll want to click on our first image and then our shape by holding down the shift key. Then in our shape format tab, we'll click into our merge options and we will want to select fragment. From there, you'll see that we now have one piece of our puzzle created. So you can continue this until the whole entire puzzle is ready. And then to be able to move them around in our presentation, we'll want to make them draggable. So to do that, click on each square in our Inkno class point tab, we'll click more features, draggable objects, and then just make sure that that is toggled on. With this template, you can use class points draggable objects to move the letters where they belong for your answer key, or you can use class points annotation tools if a student guessed a letter that was not part of your answer. To help you choose the next student to pick a letter, you can use class points name picker option to spin the wheel. And Kayla can pick the next letter. We have a variety of different ways that you can play Hangman in this template. So the only thing that you need to do is update the question and the boxes for your answer. And if any letters need to be duplicated, you can go ahead and do that and you're set. Now, thank you so much for sticking around through the explanation of all those templates. So how do you begin to use them in your next presentation? In the description below, there are some links that you guys can use to download each one of these templates. If you want to see any more PowerPoint game templates, let us know and we'll be sure to make it. We hope you enjoy using these to make your presentations a little bit more interactive and engaging. Number one, don't forget to subscribe to the ClassPoint channel. And number two, don't forget to download and install ClassPoint. That way you're making the most out of every single one of these templates.